Hi, welcome to week three. What, it's still week two? I know. I'm taking a road trip up the coast. I'm uh, going to my cousin's wedding, so I'm gonna be gone for a few days. So I thought I would post week three early so you know what's going on. Uh, this week we're doing key people, which is pretty key. Uh, by the way, where I am right now is at the Armenian Genocide monument in Montebello, about 10 miles east of downtown LA. It's uh, to commemorate about a million uh, Armenians uh, killed um, during World War I, so about 100 years ago, and uh, about 50 years ago they built this uh, huge thing to remember. Um, I'm not necessarily here asking you to make your career be a pro-social career. Starting any career is hard enough. Um, but it is worth remembering both that, you know, life can be short and unexpected things can happen, and also uh, that humans can be pretty cruel. So maybe doing something good is good. But starting a career is hard enough. That is enough. Uh, I have a friend, Dharma, from Nepal. He likes to say that if you think of life in terms of 80 years, uh, that you could divide that into four chapters, or maybe better, let's call it four books, because each of those books will have multiple chapters within it. So four books, um, 20 years to learn, 20 years to earn, 20 years to give back, 20 years to rest. So. Uh, obviously, your mileage will vary, but something along that I idea. And some of you are thinking of grad school. Very cool. I'd uh, encourage you to consider maybe taking a gap year in between college and grad school. You can travel, you can work, you can learn about yourself, you can learn about the world. You can just think through more things and come to grad school with a lot more in your head, ready to do whatever you're going to do in grad school. For those of us who aren't thinking about grad school, we're actually going to start this next book of life. Uh, again, getting started is hard enough. So some of you will do pro-social work because that's just who you are. But if it's not, that's fine. Uh, you have this whole book ahead um, to to earn and uh, you know maybe 20 years from now you can think a little bit more about giving back. So um, on to key people. Key people. Who are the key people for your career? Make a list, say hello, viewer profile. So the key people for your career are going to be different depending on what you're interested in. If you're looking to be a gallery artist, it might be the UCLA art history grad student who sits at the front desk of the galleries that you're interested in, or the curator, or the owner, or artists who exhibit there, artists who hang out there. So lots of kind of research into really all galleries, even galleries, you know, if you do ceramics and you go to a photography gallery, obviously they're not going to be exhibiting your work, but it's not a waste of time to get to know those people because they're still moving in the circles, traveling in the world that you're interested in. If you're interested in an animation career, um, sure, knowing, you know, big names at, at Pixar and DreamWorks is probably a good idea, but also figuring out who at the maybe smaller, more local animation studio that you're interested in applying to, getting an entry-level position at, an internship, etc. Learning about those people, um, HR people, creative people, you know, just as much as you can discover. Similar for graphic design, other activities, illustration, are you interested in children's books? The list goes on. Find out the publishers, the editors, the art buyers, uh, lots of research to do this week, actually. That's why we call it Research Week. Uh, so make a list of key people, both by type, but also by specific people. Look them up, see what you can find out about them. Uh, and then here's the part, so I don't know what the percentage is, but I'm gonna assume that the majority of us in, in R490 uh, as artists were probably introverts 
probably have a few extroverts. So for many of us, the, the, the least fun part is talking to strangers, but reach out and try to actually talk to these people. Whether it's the receptionist at a, at a local art gallery or somebody high up at Pixar, throw the net out, see what happens. There are people who will talk to you and playing the student card is really good. Everybody, you know, a lot of people these days do have art degrees, uh, but even someone who doesn't have an art degree, everybody went to school at some point, everybody would like to give back if they can. When you ask, you know, hi, can you hire me? That's asking for a lot. You kind of need to ask that sometimes and, and the answer could be yes now and then, but it is asking for quite a lot. It's a big commitment, it's money, it's a desk, it's all kinds of things. Hey, I think what you're doing is awesome. Could I buy you a cup of coffee and chat for 15 minutes and learn about your awesome career? You're not asking for very much other than telling them that you have, the both of you have something in common. We both think that you're awesome and can we talk about your awesomeness? So, um, Figure out who the key people are, make a list, and then actually reach out. Try to talk to folks. Uh, and then the final piece of this is viewer profile. So of all the key people that you come up with, pick one and write kind of a detailed profile about them. As much as you can find out, hopefully you will actually speak to them, whether it's face-to-face -face coffee or on Zoom or email conversation. Um, but, you know, it could be about their, their graphic design style and, you know, where they, where they went to Cranbrook and did this and blah, 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 and now they're at Pentagram and they do this and blah, 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 all those details. It could also be some personal details, you know, what, uh, what they do for recreation, hobbies, but just try to get a complete picture of this person. You know, what generationally are they a millennial or are they a boomer? What, you know, where, where do they fit? What is their sensibility? And the point of writing out this viewer profile is that we're going to use this every step of the way forward through building all the elements of your portfolio. When we photograph your work, when we write about ourselves, when we make menus for the website, when we lay out the portfolio as a website, everything we do, uh, if it's you know Jennifer Smith at XYZ Design in Santa Monica, if that's the person I do my viewer profile on, then every time I have a choice, I'm gonna think what would speak to Jennifer? What would appeal to her? What would be not interesting? What would be off-putting? Um, so we're gonna use that person as kind of your guide. It's critical because you can't make a portfolio, you can't make a website uh, for nobody or for everybody. Um, you know, should it be white type on a black background? Should it be black type on a white background? Well, neither one of those is necessarily right or necessarily wrong. What are the aesthetics of the audience you're trying to speak to? Um, should it be, you know, slashy and edgy? Should it be smooth and elegant? The list, you know, goes on forever. Um, so. It's, it's hard or impossible to present your work to an unknown generic audience out there somewhere, everywhere, when you can make this Jennifer Smith XYZ Design in Santa Monica profile. Now I know something about Jennifer, I have something about XYZ Design, and everything I do, I can keep that in mind as I make choices. So, key people this week. Figure out who the key people for your career are, um, make a list, actually reach out to a bunch of them. You know, it's a busy world, not everybody's gonna talk to you, but if you email 10 people, one I'm sure will actually speak to you. If you email 100 people, 10 will speak to you, maybe more, uh, but you can really start to build this professional world. It's not a bad time also maybe to think about uh, if you're an illustrator, maybe check out SILA, the Society of Illustrators of Los Angeles. If you're a graphic designer, maybe check out AIGA, American Institute for Graphic Arts. There are you know, all kinds of organizations that you could also look at, but figure out who the people are, make a list, get in touch, write a viewer profile, and then of course, as always, make new work. Have a great week three. I will see you soon.